Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. Welcome to episode 27. Today I finally have my review of the Color 120 black barrels that come in the tube that I have put in this lovely case. They are typically on sale for $19.95 or so on Amazon. And I have recently just finished Starjoy Gold, Spearer Farben, that I'm not quite done with all of the different tests, and before Starjoy Gold was the Artex 126 set. So I definitely have a wide range from very hard pencils to very soft pencils before even starting on these colors. So, I went ahead and I have stored them in color order. This color order was from a particular sheet that I picked and followed that I don't even have sitting with me now. I do have, because it's in, it was in the book, I have the chart that you get. Yeah, 1998 is what I paid for these. And the colors, I have a definite um, thought on the colors that you get. Um, I have somewhere in my travels, I'm missing two pencils now. So C074 Magenta, I don't have a dot by, and I think I already shared that with you that I have a, it's colored and it doesn't match the coral red, very close, but it's not the same. And now I noticed when I was finishing these off that 038, which is also a pink, which is pencil 31 in my, my, my guide. I actually have numbers um, for where they fit in here and then a color sample and the color number. So number 38 has disappeared on me. So um, that is just crazy, I tell you. So I don't know how all my other sets are complete, but this poor set, I have managed to lose two pencils. And I'm sure I will find them somewhere. I am still working, by the way, on the Kalur 180s um, that I, I have expectations of that I will share with you as I go through my review of these pencils. So this particular set, as I've already mentioned, has a slightly smaller font. It's a serif font, so it has the little tails, uh, supposedly making it easier for us to read, but it's still plenty large enough to read. It doesn't say Kalur on the pencils at all. I believe these are a, uh, a white label that um, either Kalur or somebody makes that is able to be just shipped out in any case you want, just like this. So this is C034. I like that the numbers are easy to read. The biggest thing I found, as you would imagine, yes, the colors on the tipped, uh, dipped ends does not match very well. And I, you'll see in my projects that I share that I've had to adjust my colors because I either went with the tip or even went with the color sample and I was a little it was just a little bit off from what I my expectations were so they now live in this lovely case all by themselves I have the end labeled uh, on one of the zippers using some of my Timu labels all of my pencils now have the exact same label style uh, applied the same way so that we have some consistency but I love having a variety of cases so my favorite cases are always going to be the individual uh, elastic in the zippered I don't like a single zipper I want one zipper per layer so that is what works best for me so now let's grab the color swatches that I made. Again, I make my swatches uh, so that I can ex access very quickly. The color is always on the ends 
and then I do the whole punches so that I can lay it on top of, if I want to match this particular color, I can lay it right on top and find the closest match, which would be 003 orange in this case. So the only thing I notice with these, that now that I'm finished with them, I did put them on the Nina Bristol vellum on the smooth side, but yet they're still pretty bumpy. And if I were to be really picky with myself, I started out here in the yellows to oranges, not making sure I did a solid color. Uh, so all of these are not, this is where I got myself into trouble trying to match, uh, pick out some colors using the guide and did not have enough color showing so I didn't have a true representation. I have gone back through because where I had a problem was with the greens and my greens are much darker because I went ahead and went back over them to do a better job of picking my colors. The purples look pretty good as far as the coloring job that I did getting rid of the white uh, so I'm probably going to have to come back in here even the reds I would like to see uh, a little darker and less white showing. Another thing I could try if I didn't want to break out each pencil, but I probably will break out the pencils. I'm not really a blender person. I could take a, a color blender pencil and, and just do a blender, but I'll probably go back over and just pull out one night when I'm either I'll bring them with me on my vacation or I will just uh, sit in front of the TV and color these ones that I think have too much white showing. Even these blues look like there's too much white. So I'll probably go back over them. So this particular set that I chose, uh, the color order, I see here now, I just want to point out that what you should probably, if you don't want to actually sort them yourselves for your own style, this is a style that I actually don't like as well because over here in the browns I see too many reds, purples, and yellows. I would prefer these yellows be over with the yellow, the reds over with the reds, and just have the browns be together. So that is my my fault for not looking carefully at the color order that I picked. There's even this blue. I would rather be over in the blues. It, they call it a blue-gray, but it is decidedly blue, and I would rather have it be in with the blues because it's a nice light blue-gray. I mean a purpley blue, like a periwinkle almost. And so I would like to see it over here in with the blues. So that is just an observation. I am missing one of the sheets. It's probably buried somewhere here. Uh, so I'm missing the, the gray black sheet, which I think it only has a few more. Each sheet I know has 34. So we're pretty close to the full set, just missing the, the grays, maybe a couple of metallics off on the fourth sheet. So those are the colors. And that's my thoughts on my, my swatching job. I then dug into, I did my frog, which I'm gonna dig for. Um, this is my Artex frog. I'm gonna pick out frogs that are pretty close to how the Kalur frog came out. Um, basically the Starjoy Gold and the Prang are very hard pencils and their coloring comes out very different than the softer pencils. Um, ironically, so I have the Artex here. I have two polychromos because this polychromos I did on the rough side and it was like going like butter. The color was just so vivid. And then I realized, hmm, that's more white showing through than normal. And then I felt the paper and went, oh, I printed it on the bumpy side, not the smooth side. So um, I had to do the polychromos 
a second time. And you'll notice on the smooth paper, it definitely comes out much lighter. Now I, I color with a very light hand. And so I am used to light layers, light layers. I've always been taught light layers and I don't necessarily start with the dark. So I am not a Prisma girl. In fact, I've, I've only swatched my Prismas. Uh, that I have. Um, I'm even considering bringing them with me. Um, I still have two weeks before I leave to decide if I want to bring my Prismas and I was thinking of bringing the 36 and practicing. I watched a video of uh, My Colorful Country Life, how she does her blending. She is a Prisma girl through and through so she does not do light layers and she claims she's able to use her technique of using tiny ovals, heavy pressure, slowly decreasing pressure to light pressure with every pencil set she has. And I am, I want to learn that. Uh, it's totally opposite of how I color. So I'm considering bringing my Prismas to learn that technique. So these three, again, these two are both polychromos and this is the Artex. And they are all I consider polys compared to other pencils I've used they're actually for me quite a soft pencil and I don't really feel that you need to do a lot of light layers with them uh, especially this one here just was it went down so buttery um, I was just amazed at how soft it was and then I realized why it was doing that and the Artex very soft very easy to color so I had all three of these under my belt when I started my Kalur Frog. And I had problems with the Kalur Greens. I believe I already videoed the issues I had with this particular frog, which is the basic, most basic way that you can color. Uh, just having a couple of different colors uh, that you're doing a little bit of blending, a little bit of layering, light to dark, but very simple. And I picked the wrong color. And so, Here's where I had to shift my colors around in the greens because I didn't have the best understanding of what the greens were like. So chartreuse was way too yellow. So I had to replace it with C018 spring green to even get this look. And I had to do a lot of erasing to clean up this particular frog. But when I moved on from the simple coloring to then my, my card style of kind of cartoony coloring, it was so easy to do. It was just, and I did use a blender pencil. I used the color one and it just was so fast that then I finally one night was ready to tackle the more realistic frog. And I found of all of those sets, these were the softest, even softer than the Artex. The Artex for me, the challenge with them is that they're a little bit on the stickyish side um, and the color sticks. So getting it's, it, you definitely have to smoosh it. Uh, a term I've heard used for the folks who want to just smoosh the colors together. Whereas the Kalur just, they were so, they just went down so easy. And maybe it's because I had already colored um, over the last few months with those other three sets that then, then made this set just super, super easy. Uh, I finished this so fast and it came out so vivid. Um, I hadn't even watched the video, the Colorful Country Life uh, video of how she colors or this would have been way darker because it's still I still have that light hand I can see it all through this um, I can see the the white like the way she colors is she starts her color so that none of the white shows with the in the hard pressure she uses um, she eliminates all of the white so again, this is a bumpier white than uh, even the Artex. Uh, let's see, did I do the Artex? Yes, so the Artex here, the, I was very consistent on using the Nina Bristol Vellum Smooth Side for all of these. And 
the, the vividness that I got out of the Kalur were just amazing. I mean, look at the poly. This is done on the rough side to get the vivid color, and this is only slightly less intense. But again, I was using the colors I was provided. So here is how the poly came out on the smooth side. They're very, very similar, but this frog actually came out way more vivid than the frog did the polys. So overall, love the colors, love how easy they are to use. Uh, I think they are really a great beginner pencil. Uh, these have the smaller lead, the 3.3 millimeter lead, and came already sharpened. I had to sharpen them a few times. I know that a lot of people say that you have to get rid of some sort of coating on them when they're new and when they come with the blunt top ends, you need to sharpen them, but I, I never do. I just, it's too much pencil lead to lose. I just want to use it all. Uh, and I haven't seen a big difference for myself. Uh, I would say if you do have issues with a new pencil not feeling right, you could try to sharpen it to see if it does have a coating, but I've just not found that to be an issue for me. So love the colors and the biggest issue that I have, the dipped ends don't match. It's harder to choose your colors right. And I had limitations, not on the frog. Um, I did, well, I did with this frog but not my fancy frog. But I will show you now that I did a bunch of color combinations, starting with the Artex. This is my, kind of my master copy that I use. Then I, of course, I did the Star Joys, and I have not done this with the Polys. I've used them for many years, so um, I don't feel I need to create color combinations with them, but I could just for fun. So, then I grabbed the colors. I was ready to do the colors, and I matched the most of the color combos that you see for the Star Joy. I did here. I just tried to organize like the violet. I was my second one. I just really wanted to do violet over here, um, but then that kind of changed the order of things. So I went ahead and kept the order closer to. In this order was like somebody else created this one. So I went ahead and then further refined my order so that my color order had like all the red, yellow, oranges, then the blues to the purples, and then the greens, and then light and dark skin. So I found that the greens were limited. I even had to write here this leaf. I am missing this light kind of seafoam color. Could not find a light seafoam color. Let's see if I find it. I just don't see that color in the greens here. And that's those are the greens. I don't have any other greens to choose from. And so I was challenged with leaf to try to replicate the leaf green. Um, now, granted, I actually picked this extra color. This, this particular uh, leaf green did not go to the light green. And I'm wondering if the Artex 126 has this light green that I was able to find in the Star Joy. But I do feel that um, I also had one other one maybe. Oh, and I didn't put a star. Oh, here we go. Uh, the light skin does not have like a creamy cream. It's a little bit too yellow, I wrote. Too yellow, no other choices. So I'm since I found I had some color choice issues with the colors, though I absolutely loved using them, I am so glad I bought the 180s with the big lead, the 3.8 millimeter lead. Uh, this is the red red tin with the uh, deer on the front. So I'm already excited to move on and see what the 180s have for me as far as color ranges because I found the Color 120 had some limitations in the colors for me. 
Um, other than that, I found that I could whip these out. Now, maybe I'm just getting better at frogs and better at doing these color combos um, because I went through the colors really quickly. Now, I was stumped when I couldn't find a color that I needed, but other than these two color issues, I did this particular color. It just was really easy to put down the color and getting everything to blend. Um, I still see that um, these are somewhat smooshable and I'm not a smoosher, so here I can see some zigzag lines a little bit um, in some of the colors and a little bit of white here and there, like a little white where I just didn't fill it in all the way, uh, but they just were a very easy pencil to use. Uh, really like them a lot. I think that for their price point, they are a very darn good pencil. Now the Artex, I will say, now I regret having printed this on the Nina cover copy. This is my uh, 80 pound crafting paper and I do really like a smooth paper. Uh, so I am adopting this uh, this is way more expensive than the Nina Bristol Smooth, and so I wish I had done the Artex on the the coloring page paper that I am going to be using going forward. But all in all, love the pencils. Think they're a great deal. The co couple of places there are colors missing, and perhaps since there are so many different sizes of sets, uh, if you're a person who wants more colors, they even now sell the 520, the, the Brute Funer 520s are now being sold by Color because I, as far as I know, it's the Brute Funer factory that prints the Color pencils or, or makes them. Somehow those two sets are made in the same factory. Uh, so that's all I've got for now. If you have any of your own comments, questions, or concerns about the Kalur 120s, uh, I will now be moving on to the Kalur 180s. I will not be bringing them on vacation with me. I will be uh, playing with some other older sets that I've had for a while to just kind of clear my, my brain from these latest frog sets that I have been coloring with week after week. Uh, again, thank you for subscribing. Be sure to share my site with everybody. I'm in my growth mode. Hopefully you enjoy this content that I have been bringing. And that concludes episode 27. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm, I am back really quick with two points. First, I did want to have the disclaimer that I call this a review, but it is only my opinion your viewpoint and your opinion on these pencils could be completely different than mine. And the second really important point that I forgot to make clear is that these black barrel pencils are not the same set of color numbers or names as the Color 180s, which is why I ended up getting both sets because I initially thought that this would be the black barrel colors that everybody talks about and they are not. They are like a, a like I said, they're a white label uh, generic type pencil. The colors, some of them are similar to the 180s, but none of them match up. I just wanted to make that clear.